everyone, this is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I am back with another video for Defemember. This challenge is hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Hensel here on YouTube. I will link their channels below. I will also link my playlist for the other Defemember videos I've done for this. Today we're doing day seven, which is safety pin and postage stamp. And I have been wanting to make some of these again for Christmas for my journal. Let me show you these. I made these, I made these for fall. I'm recording this on a Monday, so I have Monday brain. <laughs> and it's not working. But I made these with this stamp set, some paper, and these little um, printouts. I got these from... Graphics Fairy, all sized down, all beautifully. So I want to bake some Christmas ones. I couldn't really find anything that would work, and I was going to download some things and resize them, but I forgot I had purchased this journaling page off of Etsy. I will link it down below. I don't remember what shop it's from. And they had these perfectly sized little squares for one of the pages. And on my printer, when they print out, they print out about an inch and a quarter square. I've got out some scrap music paper and book pages. I've already got out, I think, eight of these cut out. So first thing I need to do is glue all of these down. I'm just going to use my glue stick and get these all glued down. So I've got them glued down. So what I plan on doing next is cutting them out. So if you don't have pinking shears, which is going to cut a zigzag edge, you could also use a ruler to tear them out to give them like a little bit of a rough edge. When they look like this, they kind of look like they've been tore off of an envelope with the stamp still attached, which is what I'm going for. So let's cut these out. That's why I didn't glue them too close. So after this, every step is, really any of this is optional, but after this, my next step is to ink the edges so that they look a little bit distressed and worn. Again, that is absolutely, totally optional. I think I'm going to use vintage photo, actually. So I'm just going to get all of these inked up a little bit. Okay, that is all done. These are... I just inked them up, but they're very stark white, which will be fine because we are going to stamp on top now. I found this set on Amazon. I will link down below. It's really cute. You don't have to stamp anything specific. I think a any kind of like round stamp would also work. So like you can see on these, I did two stamps on them. They are, because they're bigger, the two stamps look kind of nice. So I alternated using different stamps. Some of them I used the same ones. Since these are a little smaller, we'll see how they look. So I've got the top right stamp and it's got, let's, let me show you what it looks like. So it's got an oval bit in the middle and then those lines. And the lines are really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to stamp the edge. I don't know why I'm not getting a good stamp in the middle. So what's difficult about these two is you don't, 
you don't want to cover up a lot of your image because you want to be able to see it. But when you think about some of the stamps you get with the cancel mark, they've been covered up a little bit. So this one I covered up a little too much of the deer. Oh dear. <laughs> so, so I'll make sure to kind of stay on the edge. So like this, oh, these sweet little bunnies. So for them, we'll do on this edge. And since they're over to the right in my, in this image, I'll be able to actually do about the same. Here, they're not covered up all the way, but you can cover them up. That is entirely up to you, however you want to do them. Don't let me tell you what to do. So let's try the oval one. So how this image is kind of at a diagonal from bottom right to top left, I'm going to do the opposite. I'll do the top right and the bottom left, but I want a different part of the stamp. There we go. That's it. So I'm going to stamp the rest of them. The main thing with these when you're doing them is just to have fun and try different things, right? I love how they turned out. They're so pretty. So I kind of mentioned how bright they were earlier. So I kind of want to add a little bit more color to a few of them. Just a little bit. I barely have any ink on this. I kind of dabbed some of it off. Hey, pretty. Okay, so I bet you're wondering where the gourd pins come in. I think I found these on Amazon too. If I don't have things linked below or check my Amazon link, I have almost everything listed in there. What I want to do is two sets of four. Make sure the deer, poinsettia, we'll do an animal and then that. Okay. It has been so windy um, starting yesterday, which was Sunday. The, I don't know what day it was yesterday. I should know this. Sunday the 5th. It got so windy. So I'm going to use my Crocodile, the small hole punch, the eighth inch to just punch a little hole at the top. Open up the gourd pin. There. Isn't that look cute? So then I can attach them to a page in my journal. They'll be adorable. Let's put the bun buns on the front. So if you're following my Instagram stories, I set out some corn for for a squirrel, and of course when I set it out, they ran off, but they were back today. And <laughs> they were just kind of munching on the corn and they turn around and look at my cats. <laughs> it was so funny and Shiro was just so still. I think this is so cute. So since I've got everything out, let's do, because <laughs> I'm still crafting for fall. <laughs> so I'm telling you, doing teaching that class at that college has really put me kind of behind on doing some crafting. 
I think because these are bigger, I'm just going to do a group of a group of three. three. Actually, let's just do two. I love these ball images. They're so beautiful. You know, as soon as I am done with the video, I'll probably find a mess of safety pins. Isn't that always, always how it goes? So here they all are. I love how they look. They're so cute. I think when I go to put them in the journal, I may add some ribbon depending on where they're at in the page. I wanted to say hello to the new subscribers. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and make sure you hit that like button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.